Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video. We're going to talk about One Piece. We're going to talk about this uh, this backlash this animator has gotten over a scene in the One Piece anime. Have you heard about this? Uh, yeah, there's a character in One Piece and there's a bathhouse scene because of course there is. It's anime. There's a bathhouse scene. I swear to God in every anime. But uh, this character is supposed to be, I guess she is uh, 12 years old chronologically. Uh, she's been aged up to her 20s. And because we have this character in a bathhouse scene and this animator worked on that scene, Twitter has decided to try to cancel them. Now, I personally think it's just petty jealousy. I think that's what's actually going on here. But we're going to we're going to talk about this because. This is just, this is some crazy stuff. Because the thing is, they're going after this animator when this was in the manga. This character was in the manga. You know, blame blame Oda <laughs> for this one. They're just adapting the manga. Uh, so anyway, let's talk about it. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. Guys, no woohoos. No woohoos in this video. Geeky's, uh, Geeky's not in this one. But um, this is coming from Niche Gamer. And I'm trying to make sense of what's going on here. I see a lot of people tagging me in on Twitter. Uh, Niche Gamer has this article, One Piece animator attacked on social media over a bath scene. Uh, an animator who worked on a recent episode of One Piece has been harassed by X, formerly Twitter. You know, we know how animation Twitter is. Uh, they're crazy. <laughs> I mean, these people are some of the most unhinged uh, people you will ever meet in your entire life. And a lot of them are children or mentally children. Uh, anyway, these Twitter users uh, have harassed this person for their depiction of a character during a bath scene. The character in question is Jewelry Bonnie, the captain of the Bonnie Pirates. During a particular scene, Bonnie is nearly naked, not fully naked, nearly naked as the characters all take a bath together. Now, I hate to break it to you, but in Japan... Uh, people do take baths together and sometimes they're naked or nearly naked and they don't really think much of it. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying this is, this is a cultural thing, uh, all the way around. And there are people of different ages getting naked together in the bathhouse. It's just kind of a thing they do over there. Not everybody, but it is kind of a cultural thing. They don't think much of it. Just like in other European countries, uh, you know, nudity for them is not a, not a big deal. Uh, regardless of the age of the character. Uh, I don't think there's any relations going on or anything like that. Uh, the reason this stirred controversy is that Bonnie has the powers of the Toshi Toshi no, no Mi, age age fruit, and while she normally takes on the appearance of a woman in her 20s, she's chronologically 12. The age age fruit allows Bonnie to not only alter her own age, but also the age of others. She uses this power to make people experience near-death experiences or age herself into hypothetical futures where she's stronger. Uh, so the artist known on Twitter as KDA, which I actually do know, I've, I've seen KDA's work, was proud of their work on the show as seen below. Participated as a key animator on uh, One Piece episode 1090. Is that right? Is that how many episodes of, of One Piece there are? Is over a thousand episodes? Yeah, I haven't seen this one yet because it's like, Geez, I think I got maybe 50 episodes into One Piece. And I'm like, man, this thing is long. One Piece is long. I hope you enjoyed Bonnie's scenes. However, some social media users took the opportunity to try and attack the animator due to Bonnie's technical age, despite the series creator, Oda, being responsible for Bonnie's design. Uh, yeah, now Niche Gamer was nice and they actually uh, uh, blanked out their their uh, usernames. I wouldn't have been as nice. I would have been like, you You said it publicly. You deserve everything you get. You should be beaten with large rocks and a hammer. Hmm. You're proudly posting out there as you did some sort of noble prize act, you effing creep, praying the worst of the worst happens to you. Found him. Hmm. Uh, meanwhile, KDA appears to just be laughing it off, especially since most anime fans are coming to his defense in the replies and quotes. Uh, yeah, you know, he's uh, he or she, I'm assuming it's a he, um, got to work on One Piece. You will never get to work on One Piece. You know, you don't have to you don't have to agree with with the character uh, design or the, you know, the powers of the character, whatever. But uh, I personally think it's just salty wannabe animators looking to cause problems because this, this manga has been out in Japan. This character has been around, right? Um, 
And this is not, we're not getting to lowly stuff or anything like that because we're talking the characters aged up. They're in bathhouse scene, still covered up mostly. And, you know, it's just, a, it's a thing they do over there. You know, it is me reading the comments and replies, delete this gang. If they find, if they find this is over for you. <laughs> Yet another day of fake outrage against the drawings of a fictional character. People harassing this guy for simply doing his job. Got to be the biggest losers in the world. Uh, yeah. So it, it like, this is a weird thing. Like these are the same people that were totally cool with uh, shipping a lot of them, uh, shipping underage characters uh, like uh, Catradora. These are a lot of the same people that were, God, his work is really, really good. Um, rough animation of bleach. This is actually very, very good work. Uh, yeah, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of these people cool with when it, you know it came out that Rebecca Sugar was posting uh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie having having group sex. They they were totally cool with that. You know they that was okay. But uh, please tell me why um, you know that's okay, but this is this is not okay. Um, pretty funny, pretty funny stuff here. By the way, um, he says, by the way, thanks to Suzuki-san and every staff member didn't have time to finish uh, every uh, Nijin. That's why there's maybe some errors in the clean version of the cleanups, but uh, even with that little mistake, they did a great job. Uh, sorry for the sexualizing controversy. I'm sorry for drawing, <laughs> drawing him shirtless. Uh, yeah, my cuts are finally coming out. Thanks for showing my work again. Yeah. Uh, they do really good work. So let's see what, uh, let's see what's going on here. And the quote, the quote retweets, God, these people just, they never stop. They never do. And a lot of them, you go out to the accounts and they're either obvious sock puppets or they spend all day tweeting. That's all they do is tweet because they're not working on the animation themselves because they can't, a lot of them can't, a lot of most, mostly what I've found, it's been my experience that most of these animation stands, these people spend all day trying to cancel people in the animation industry because they're doing, they are doing what they want to do, but they don't have the ability, discipline or talent to be able to do it. So they try to nitpick. Like now they're going after Vivzy pop again, I guess there's all kinds of drama. It's always animation people. And these are the same people that, you know, tried to, they had death threats against people working on, on Steven universe and everything. Um, so let's see what's going on. Let's look at these quote, quote retweets. I'm sure they're, Wonderful. I've never seen an animator set themselves up like this. Uh, you remember how old she is, right? Y'all are some effing losers. Y'all genuinely care more about a piece of paper who will never know you and acknowledge you over an actual human being. Um, yeah, harassing an animator. The reply is, dude, what is wrong? What is wrong with it? Uh, child decided I think we should stop with the overdone large boob fan service and have Zoro shaking his comically large ass instead. Uh, great job, says Peter Pischke. Uh, Peter has actually written for us on uh, clownfishtv.com. This is why our body looked weird. <laughs> Tell you dumbass is attacking him for doing his job. Leave him alone. Yeah, pretty much. He's doing his job. This is what he's hired to do. Take it up with Oda. You have a problem with a character in one piece, you take it up with Oda. That's that's what happened. Um, people harassing this guy for simply doing his job. Got to be the biggest losers in the world. Yeah, they well, they are. A lot of them are. I'm going to be honest. We've we've had uh, run-ins with animation stands, and they're a they're a special a special kind of person. Let's just put it that way. They're very very unique and very special. Uh, a lot of them, and uh, yeah, anime fans get bullied and mocked because you're weird. Naruto ran at school. No, dude. New anime fans they get uh, made fun of because you're a bunch of parent forsaken Puritans who would unironically pull the trigger an artist for drawing tits you disagree with. <laughs> Twitter's the only place where a guy would get harassed for simply doing his job. Yeah, pretty much. I don't think, I mean, again, Twitter's not the real world. And there have been a lot of controversies I've seen in the last couple of days come up on Twitter. One of them was actually with uh, Ed Greenwood, who was the creator of Forgotten Realms. He felt like he had to apologize for re retweeting some guy's tweet. And he apologized profusely because these, these people know how to push the buttons. And nine times out of 10, you're not even dealing with real people. You know, it's like a handful of people with a whole bunch of sock, sock puppet accounts. And the best thing you can do, you find out there's a sock puppet, you block them. You laugh at them. You move on. These people are used to being laughed at. And I think that's why they they take it out on people on, on social media. Because they know in the real world they don't have any power, but they feel like they have power on social media. Meanwhile, this guy's actually working on one piece. Like, you will never, 
work on one piece. You will never have that opportunity. Um, uh, we can't believe that people are mad that the animators did his job. We don't give a F about that. We gave a F the ad close up front shot of shirtless Bonnie, which wasn't in. Okay. So that wasn't in the manga. Well, it was approved by the staff, right? Blatantly clear. It's fan service. We'll take it up with the director, not the animator. He's doing his job. It was probably in the storyboards. It's probably the director said, yeah, you can go ahead and do that. And they might edit it out of the English version. I don't know. Um, maybe people crying about Bonnie and one piece are absolutely going to have a mental breakdown. If they were discovered this bitch. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah. People always harassing animators instead of the actual creator. It's Oda. It's fault for turning Bonnie into a child. I swear one piece fans gotta be the dumbest people on the planet. Well, I mean, look, if it wasn't in the manga, um, then it would fall to the director again, not to the animator. It would be whoever directed this episode said, that's fine because the director could have said, you know what? No, we're not going to do this. That's, that's a bridge too far. And they're like, nah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Tits on a 12-year-old, that's cool. We're cool with that. You know, whatever. Um, losers in the quote retweets are harassing the anime for adapting source material correctly. Blame Oda and leave the anime alone. Again, well, it wasn't in the manga. I did not read that far ahead. Uh, the character was created by Oda, though. But if, if it was allowed in the final product, that would be up to the director, the producer, you know, not, not just the individual animator, like uh, individual animators don't have that much power. You get, you understand this, right? Like animation is expensive and how much time, uh, and how, how much cost would there have been with, you know, finishing this scene, the director would have had to have signed off on this. Um, you need to get jobs. Y'all think animators are caught, are caught up to whatever bullshit happens in the manga. Blame your Lord and Savior Oda instead. Uh, the animation community has issues with pedophiles and lack of oversight. Creator and animators are not the only ones responsible. Um, well, it, blame the director. Quotes being too much. If you have a problem with content, then blame the source, not the animators. You going to hell. Oda angels slandering this ar artist more than they slandered Oda. Uh, you're an Epstein disciple, and you should burn in hell for all eternity. This is, again, yeah. And you look at, you look at the bios nine times out of 10, it's exactly what you would expect. It's exactly what you expect. And I do believe a lot of these accounts are fake. I think they're fake. I think and now it's getting to the point where I, I don't even know if you're dealing with real people or you're dealing with AI because there are services out there where you can actually hire AI to, to write slanderous tweets and create accounts. And it, it's crazy how far down the rabbit hole this goes. And we know that companies you know, like HBO have actually hired people to take on people they don't like in public, um, you know, because they're trying to salvage your reputation. It could be a rival studio. It could be, I mean, it could be a number of, a number of people, a number of uh, people behind it, or it could just be some crazy ass, you know, 14 year old one piece stands. Um, God. Yeah. So there you go. Take it up with the director. You know, if you're worried about it, write to the animation studio, write a letter, send them some cranes or something and be like, we really don't want tits in this show. Uh, I'm just saying, take it up with the director. There you go, guys. That's, that's my understanding. Uh, my understanding of what's going on. Um, Epstein disciple. Yeah. Again, these are a lot of the same, a lot of the same things, you know, a lot of the same things are being said. And I am I am 100% sure they're at least sock puppet accounts, if not bots. Uh, when Oda goes to hell, you're going deeper, says the Snoopy icon. And they're all anime avatars. They're no real people. And you look at the bios, and it's all the, exactly what you would expect. And it's just, it, they're a caricature of what you think these people would be. And a lot of these people, you know, I think they've learned from... Uh, you know, K drama and uh, K pop wars and whatever on on Twitter, and they they use a lot of that, you know, in the animation scene now too, where they try to bully people. But really, it might be like a dozen people coordinating in a Discord and being like, "Yeah, we hate this person. Let's get rid of them for whatever reason." And for a while, studios listened, unfortunately. But you know, Japan, you're dealing with a Japanese studio. You're not dealing with a Burbank studio. And they're going to tell you to get fucked. I mean, that's the truth. <laughs> they're not going to care. They're not going to care. Hell, they'll probably make posters of this and sell. They'll probably make, they'll probably make uh, model kits of her looking like this and sell it because it's going to sell. 
because technically she's in her 20s. You know? <laughs> I know I know she's uh, she's 800 years old, but she looks 11, but she's really 800. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's a whole nother whatever, whatever. Point is, at the end of the day, animator doing his job, director signed off, Oda signed off, not just his fault. He's working on One Piece, you're not. And uh, that's it, that's it. I'm gonna wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later.